Boy, it feels like it's hard to keep up with technology. Hey, you want to buy my 8-track player? Smartphones are getting more expensive, and their cameras are multiplying. But there's a reason for that. Let's dive into the world of tech and discover the most unusual things. Starting with those notches. Why do most smartphones have them? I'm talking about those displays with irregular shapes, versus just having a black band all the way across the top. There's a notch cut out of the screen that makes a little room for the front camera and sometimes the speaker. Well, manufacturers wanted to give extra space for the screen. The benefits of the notches aren't many, though marketers believe it's easier to sell a phone with more screen space than one with a smaller display. Manufacturers also keep adding more cameras to phones to increase the quality of the pictures taken. DSLR cameras have huge lenses and robust bodies, but phones can't snap excellent photos with only one lens. The Dual Plus cameras try to make the photos look more professional. Sometimes to do that, the cameras work separately. The first photo posted on the internet came from CERN. It was the horrible CERN Girls a comedy band consisting of employees and partners of scientists at the institution. Electronic mail is older than the World Wide Web. It was invented in the 1960s, but back then, users could only send letters to other users who had the same computer. In some cases, both users had to be online to receive the mail. It wasn't until 1971 when people could send mail between hosts across the ARPANET, the first wide-area packet-switching network. The Queen of England sent her first email in 1976. Around 40% of internet traffic is non-human. It's usually robots trying to take data. In fact, there's a whole online forum run entirely by bots. They use a model to create posts that mimic other posts by real users. The users commenting and interacting with the posts are also robots. That just spooks the heck out of me. China has the highest number of internet users, 748 million, followed by India, 455 million. Together, the two have more internet users than the entire populations of Europe and South America combined. Nintendo was originally a playing card company in 1889. Around the 1960s, the company began making toys and, almost a decade later, video games. Smartphones have gotten so expensive in recent years that fewer than 10% of people pay $1,000 for one. The hefty price tag has to do with advanced features, such as facial recognition, multiple cameras, and better processors. The difference between notebooks and laptops is that notebooks are lighter, smaller, and have less processing power. When digital calculators first came out, people were very skeptical of their accuracy, and one brand attached an abacus so the users could double-check their math. Smartphones have more processing power than the computers used to send the Apollo astronauts to the moon. The computers had just 2,048 words of memory and could only store data temporarily. An average smartphone has 7 million times the memory the guidance computer had. Until 1983, consumers used to rent phones for $1.50 to $5 every month. Then they became available for the general public to purchase for 20 bucks. That would be $50 today. A study found that 58% of men and 47% of women suffer from nomophobia. That's the fear of being without your phone. The word is an abbreviation of no mobile phone phobia. Individuals are so used to taking their little gadgets to the bathroom that one in five people drop their smartphone in the toilet. No mention here of how many retrieve their gadgets, but you can imagine. Throwing your mobile phone is an actual sport in Finland. Since 2000, people have been participating in the Mobile Throwing Championships. They're judged on distance or technique. The thrown phones have been donated. The name Google was actually a spelling mistake. The original founders were going to name it Google, 
which is the number 1 followed by 100 zeros. They picked the name to show the search engine provided tons of info. Netflix has been around long before Google. It was founded in 1997, and they used to physically ship DVDs to people's homes. Remember the Red Mailer? In 1996, Bluetooth was named after King Harold Bluetooth. He was a king of Denmark and Norway more than a thousand years ago. Despite popular belief, the word emoji has nothing to do with emotions. It comes from Japan. E translates to picture, and moji means character. The first webcam was created at Cambridge University in 1991 by computer scientists. Why? Because they wanted to keep an eye on the coffee pot levels from their desk. LOL used to mean something completely different before the internet. The earliest recorded use of LOL was short for little old lady. Search engines can only access a small part of the internet. The rest is in the deep web, and nobody wants to dig that deep. It's mandatory in the UK to pay for a TV license. It costs almost $200 a year to support the British Broadcasting Corporation because it has no advertisements. The word camera comes from camera obscura, which translates to dark chamber. It came from the way the original device was made. There are 12 cameras sitting on the surface of the moon. Astronauts left them there to bring back lunar rock samples when they couldn't carry more weight. They only brought back the films used to develop the photos they snapped. One pixel on your electronic devices consists of three or four colors. Those can be red, green, and blue, or cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Each pixel is a sample of the original image. The term IP has two definitions. It means both internet protocol and intellectual property. Wi-Fi was a byproduct of a failed research experiment when an Australian radio astronomer was trying to detect many black holes. Well, cool! If you point your car keys at your head, the remote's signal range will increase. That's because the signal uses your body as a radio transmitter. Instead of using mowers that run on gasoline to mow their lawn, Google rents goats to do the job. The goat herder brings 200 goats, and they spend the rest of the week with the company or until they're done eating. The first computer mouse was created in 1964. It had a bulky rectangular shape, and it was made out of wood. The first alarm clock was invented in 1787, and it could only ring one time. It went off at 4 a.m. It was programmed like that on purpose to wake its inventor up for work. High tech for the time. Android means a human with a male robot appearance. The female equivalent is gynoid. And if you didn't like either of these, you might be annoyed. If you feel your phone in your pocket vibrating, but nobody's calling you, you might be experiencing phantom vibration syndrome. Some of the most common passwords used today are QWERTY, password, and six consecutive ones. One of the founders of Twitter suggested that the social media site could be named Friend Stalker, but they decided to settle for something less, you know, weird. The other co-founder went through the dictionary and tried to find something similar to Twitch. And that's when Twitter appeared. Typewriter is one of the longest words you can write on your keyboard using only one row of keys. Check it out. There are more keyboard layouts than just the QWERTY keyboard. One of them is the Dvorak layout. It was patented in 1936 with all the vowels in the middle row. His creator said it improved typing speed and efficiency. But the layout never got as famous. Other layouts include the beautiful Purdy QWERTY, the filthy Dirty QWERTY, and the brainy Nerdy QWERTY. Bye for now!